last episode we struggled in the league but saw promise in our youth with another win in the EFL Cup. Can we keep this up? Hey, welcome back. Respect to Jeff here with episode 4 of season 2 here in this West Ham career. Uh, so it's yet another break in the league, this time for the Leasing.com trophy. We take on Cambridge United, uh, who we know well from last season, so we should be a notch above them this time around. Um, as usual, we're gonna rotate around a little bit here for cup games, uh, play some of our more fringe players. It's our new signing, Jakubiak, up top. I'm really excited to see what he's capable of. Um, we're gonna put both of our Chileans in there as well. Uh, Correa out there on the left-hand side. And we're going to rotate all of our centimids around. Archie Hall makes his way back into this starting squad. Palacios, our new Academy star, into that starting 11 as well. Boateng holding down the defensive mid spot and Garmston and Bennett in the back line. All right, here we are against Cambridge United. Uh, not the best team, actually probably one of the worst teams in these four divisions of England. So hopefully we can get a win. Over the top, looking for Correa who somehow comes away with the ball, Jack Kubiak, laying it off for Hugh Gill, touch lets him down, good idea. And now they're away. Boateng, Paul, Jack Kubiak, oh, how about that? Sets up Hugh Gill with an outstanding pass, can't quite finish the shot at the end of it. Oh, that is just outrageous stuff from our new striker, really promising. Jakubiak again getting involved, lining up for a shot, taken down outside the box in a free kick in a dangerous area now. He did well to win that. It's Hugill over it now, dipping it down, and it's a goal. Fantastic stuff from Hugill once again, this time off a free kick, and he just cannot stop scoring 1-0. Well, that is an absolutely class free kick, but all credit to Jakubiak who won that. Kemp closing down. And Bennett, oh, his man gets the better of him. Cutting inside, Dallas puts a ball in. Armston there to clean up. Good stuff from our center back slash left mid. Hugill, give and go exchange with Kemp here. Taking a touch into space. Hugill, brilliant stuff. Can he pick out Jack Kubiak running onto it? The two of them linking up well. Couldn't find the pass though. Archie Hall playing through Jack Kubiak who does link up this time, finding Hugill in the box again, and he converts again. Our superstar is back up and running in full force. Boateng, Hugill, Jakubiak, and Hugo have a real understanding, although to be fair, it seems like anyone we put up there alongside Hugill plays really well. Jakubiak a little selfish straight at the goalkeeper, uh, but high on confidence already we can see here. Uh, and that's halftime. The whistle blows. We go in with a strong lead. Boateng playing through Archie Hall's got a couple options ahead of him. Hugill takes a touch into space. So good on the half turn there and has a shot. Really powerful one at the keeper who makes the save. Coming in from the corner now. Oh, headed down. Hugill just wide of the post. Still searching for a hat trick. Over the top. Correa closing down. Cambridge unable to get much going on. Well done, Correa. A little nervously played out of the back there, but we come away with it. Uh, Hugo getting his head up. The man is off, though. Jakubiak with the back heel. Ah, the play just fails to go through. Palacios looking to shut that option down. Header wide of the post. And again, Cambridge really cranking up here towards the end of the game. Garmston deals with that one. Boateng gets it out wide, Affaline the substitute. Finds Hugill who almost gets through, brought down though. Cambridge playing out from the back, Affaline pressure really high up the pitch, wins it back. And he's dancing through their back line now, Lofts went off for Holland over the net. Well, he could work on his finishing Holland, that was a great opportunity. Straight in front of goal, twisting Hatter though. And another cross coming in and headed straight at Martin. Really easy save. The whistle blows, we come away with a clean sheet and two goals. We're going through to the next round. Great stuff from the team. And again, some really bright appearances from those we haven't seen too much of the season, although Hugill is the main man once again. 
Okay, well, our focus back on the league once again. Um, our scout has come back, though. We got a couple options coming in here. Uh, we still have room to promote one more player through, um, although none of these players really catching my eyes. We'll bring Phillips on board, but uh, doesn't look to be an outstanding talent by any means. Um, looking at our position now, we're sitting in 10th, and unfortunately, Portsmouth on an absolute rampage in first right now, although only six games played, so not a ton to separate sides so far. Um, although probably on paper they are the best side in this division this year. And we're going to be without our star center mid, Colin, which is going to be a little unfortunate. Luckily we have Boateng to plug that hole up. Uh, aside from that, it's the usual starting 11 that we have come to know and love. And let's get right to the game. Alright, here we go against Portsmouth. It's an away matchup and a very tough one. One of the hardest games in the league this season, probably at Fratton Park. Hopefully our players are up for the challenge here. Uh, Portsmouth certainly will be. They've been in great form the last few matches, scoring goals for fun. So we have to be very aware on defense. I thought about switching to a back four uh, for this match, but we're going to stick with what we do best, playing those three at the back and just try to condense ourselves when they get the ball through. Although Curtis making that look easy, dancing past two defenders, comes straight to Trot, who makes the save. Got some early warning signs coming in here from Portsmouth. Out wide with a lays. No options ahead of him. Whitaker. Cardoso passing it around the back line here. Good defending from Portsmouth. Not a lot of space in the midfield here. I do wonder if we'll need to switch up formation if this isn't going to work out for us. Boateng out wide. Holland, Alexander. Good run in behind. Picks him out with a good pass. Cutting inside. Good feet by Alexander. Still going. Lance Alexander finishes a goal out of absolutely nothing. Oh, and that is just brilliant from our young striker. Does it time and time again. And he sorted his feet out so well. Blew by the defender into the box. Had all the time in the world at that point. And it's a great finish at the end of the move there. Off the post and in. You can't ask for any better from a striker. He did it all on his own. Trying to build on that one goal lead now. Given away though. And Portsmouth headed back. In our half of the field. Williams. Great through ball to find him. Boateng closing down. Stops the cross. Well done from Boateng. Well, giving away in the box. Somehow we get away with it. Out wide again. And it's through. Williams finding himself in behind a lot of space. Cross goes way over. Somehow kept in though. And in a dangerous position. Cross to the near post. And Trot keeps us in this game with an absolutely brilliant save. Really quick reflexes. That was a point blank shot in his face. Again, Boateng helping out on the wing. They're overloading this right-hand side. Slide coming in and a header wide of goal. <sighs> well, another opportunity from Portsmouth. They are just attacking us time and time again, although we still hang on to our one goal lead here. It's out wide with a lace. Struggling to really get a hold of the ball, though. We had that goal that was really just created by Alexander, but aside from that, we're not creating many opportunities going forwards. Aksabanovic wide. Silva cutting inside. Trying to switch... The run of play here, Boateng. Holland, still just no options ahead of him. Giving the ball away there, Holland. Nowhere to go with it, trying to cut inside. And now Portsmouth charging down the field. Looking very direct whenever they pick up the ball, Williams. Outside, Noble getting back there to cover on the wing. Trying to cut off the run of Williams in behind, does so. But Portsmouth still with the ball. Williams finds it to his feet anyways in the box. He's having an absolutely outstanding game, but no goals to show for it. Out wide. Through again, Curtis. Cardoso trying to close down. A nice skill. In behind, headed down and wide of goal. And we're still hanging on here. Half time though, and a chance for us to regroup here. All right, so we are gonna switch up the formation. It wasn't working out too well for us, although we did manage to grab that goal. So we're going with a 4-4-2, keeping the two up top. And let's see if this works out a little better for us. Um, they were just overloading the wings, and we couldn't deal with it. So hopefully this should help us out a bit defensively. Alexander. Oh, doing really well. Keeps his body in front of it. Wins a free kick. Malay's getting forward. It's all the way back to Whitaker. Gets his head up. Picks out Hugo. On the turn. Great stuff to beat his man. Charging into the box. No options to cross. Cutting back and does so well. Haksabanovic for a second. And we double our lead. Well, who would have thought it was all Portsmouth for a lot of this match. 
but Haksabanovic and Hugel again at the center of these goals. And the way things are shaping up now, we could be taking down the league leaders. Who would have thought with our on and off form this season? Great strike too. Still plenty of time for Portsmouth to get themselves some goals now though. Only 55 minutes in, a dangerous cross coming in. And Trot punches that one back to the edge of the area. Coming in again though, they are looking desperate for a goal. But we're defending well still. Alright, well time for some substitutions now. Garmston coming on. He'll be on the left hand side as long as we're playing four at the back here. And I think he'll help us out a lot. A great attacking threat and also very good defensively. He's fit in well to the side this year. Definitely a bargain signing. 67 minutes played now. Portsmouth still with the majority of possession since our last goal. Some fouls coming in. We're trying to stop the flow of play here, but we're unable to do so so far. Well done, though, to win that ball back. And now we march in their direction. Can we be smart with play here? Noble picking out a pass for Hugo. Sends it over the top for Holland. Running onto it somehow gets on the end of that move in the box and just can't get the shot off. Close call. Curtis. Over the top for Naylor, Whitaker heading away. Such solid defending all game from our experienced center back. Shot pulled wide, well done. Time really winding down now, 89th minute. Curtis still pressing, looking to get a ball in. A little stutter step there and he puts a header in. It's headed over the net, 90 plus minutes played now. And surely we're towards the end of the game here. Boateng filling it right back, he's done well. Our whole back line has looked really solid against probably the best team in the league. Uh, so far, that is, at least. There's still plenty of time to shake that up, uh, given the amount of games left to play in this league. And Alexander finding Silva out on the wing. Cutting inside. Back to Alexander. Oh, tries the clever pass through. Doesn't come off. But that's it, guys. The whistle blows, and we've done it. We've upset the league, taken down Portsmouth 2-0 in definitive fashion. And that is just a fantastic performance from the team. I did not see that one coming. Uh, but I will gladly take it. Great stuff from everyone involved, and we march on. All right, so back to league action against Oxford up next, but in the meantime, we've got our scouting update. His comeback with some new faces uh, that we could bring into the academy, and some good talents coming in here too. Um, a lot that we can rule out right away, but uh, Guillermo Diaz looks to have solid potential on him. Might as well bring the guy on board, sign him in. Um, the rest will continue to scout. Um, so like I said, back in action against Oxford, uh, some small tweaks maybe, but it's going to be the same starting 11 as usual. Cullen is out on international duty, so Boateng makes his way into that midfield. Aside from that, the side is unchanged, and let's get straight back to it. Alright, players coming out to the pitch now. Alexander looking ready for this one, and hopefully he can bang in some goals. We can sure use it now as the pressure continues to pile on here as we make our way towards the top of the league. Brannigan plays a good ball in behind. Hall cutting inside. Very tricky player, Cardoso heading away. It was a very dangerous ball into our box. Now Boateng a few options ahead of him. Finds the feet of Hugo. Oh, poor touch, uncharacteristic. Hall again, putting another dangerous ball in. And the winger giving us some troubles here. Cardoso unable to keep up with his pace, but we do keep the score line level so far. Looking to break on the counterattack now. Mark Noble, good touch. Alexander laying it back off. Noble, give and go. Outstanding Lance. Alexander in the box. Oh, great save. That easily could have been a goal. Curling a ball into the near post. Headed over and then in the back of the net. Fantastic stuff from our team. And it is Cardoso who finishes that goal off. We well, struggled a bit defensively this game, but he gets us in front regardless. All again. Cardoso really having a hard time dealing with him. Outstanding stuff from their winger. Puts one in and an acrobatic clearance away. And we still keep ourselves safe here, but it's not for the efforts of their offense. Trying really hard. Another ball coming in now. Can't quite find that pass through a lays. Very good positioning there to read that interception. And now we play out from the back. Ah, poor pass. Oh, flick over there. And again, Hall receiving that one. Cardoso looking to close down. Oh, falls for the dummy again. He's having a hard time out there, and Hall is enjoying this one. And again, through to Hall, the center point of all their attacks. Now kicked away. Silva there to gather it up. Well done. Picking the attack up straight away here in the second half, out on the wing. Cardoso again unable to close down. Aksabanovic there to recover. 
Paul cutting inside, looked so threatening, but still unable to inspire this team to score against us. Another shot, this time blocked by Trot and over the net. Still a lot of pressure here, but we defend well. Spark Noble getting that one away. Boateng up top, chance to counterattack here maybe. Holland decides to not take the forward option. Now he picks out Boateng. And the return pass, good link up play here from the team, oh, but his touch lets him down. In behind again, Boateng looking to close down Henry over the top, settled down for Whitaker who just gets that one away. Really close calls here. Oxford just will not let up, they're relentless here. Some tricky footwork, but Ford coming in has another shot and still unable to break our lead here. Hanging on to a close one nil. That's a good strike. One more chance from the corner coming in now, and it's Holland away. Finds Boateng. We've just unable to get anything going up top, but Boateng sprinting away now in some space. Might have spoken too soon here, a chance to whip a ball in. Several players in the box. Still here on Boateng, clips that one up. Surely Hugh Hill off the bar. And just like that, we have a two goal lead. Completely undeserved in my opinion. But uh, it's those kind of chances that count and we have a player who can make the difference in Jordan Hugo. Outstanding stuff. Just like always, I suppose, he's uh, getting quite a reputation in these lower leagues. And I'm excited to see if he can pick it up if we get promoted again this season in the championship. Oxford still unwilling to let up here. Our time is certainly running out for them. 91 minutes played. Colin playing out from the back here. Boateng, Noble, Oksabanovic. And no rush here. We've surely done it, and we have. The whistle blows 2-0. We have come away with a win somehow. Oxford gave it their all, uh, but really good defending from this team. All credit to the defense here. Uh, Hugo making the difference up top. Once again, outstanding stuff. All right. Well, that takes us up into sixth place now. We're officially in promotion territory, um, and I think we could go on to pick it up. Leighton Orient have really started to kick things into gear up in eighth place now. Um, only one point below us. They've really kept their form up from League 2. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how high they can finish this season. As of right now, Bolton is still in first place. We take on Rochdale up next. Um, and let's get straight to it. All right, here we go. Hugh Gill leading the line again. Can he grab some more goals out there on the pitch? Only time will tell. But we're definitely looking for another win out here. Three points would make a big difference, especially as we push on here and really try to cement ourselves in a promotion spot, especially an automatic spot if we could manage it. But we'll see. Rochdale with a pretty bright start to this game. Alay's closing down though, relentless in defense. Although gets stuck on the ball here. Oh, that's sloppy from our center back and the chance in the back of the net. Rochdale capitalizes on that mistake from Alay's in our back line and they get in front. Well, the initial challenge was good, but he just spends too long on the ball, gives it away. And it's a well-worked counter-attack there from Rochdale. Gillum to Morley. Oksibanovic looking to close down. Well done from Holland to win that one back. Colin getting his head up. Noble. Over the top. Great pass to pick out Holland running into space. And now what can he do with the ball? Lofts it over. Looking for Alexander. Oh, just couldn't get the strike off. It's good covering in the end. Good move from the team. Lund to Henderson. Noble looking to close the angles, unable to do so. Gillum laying it off for Dunn. And a strike from outside the box finds its way in the back of the net. That is a tremendous goal. And just like that, we're two goals down. Well, the first goal was probably a mistake on our part, but that is just a world-class strike. Nothing much we could do about that. We defended, okay, could have closed down a little bit tighter, I guess, but uh, with a strike like that, uh, it's going to be hard to keep it out of the back of the net. Silva. In a crossing position now. Puts one in for Alexander. Not the tallest Alexander. Plenty of strength, but uh, de definitely not the guy we want in the air on these chances. And Hugo trying to play it through. Can't quite pick out the pass. Colin here. In the second half looking to make a difference. Haven't gotten much going our team so far, but Silva putting a ball in. Couldn't pick anyone out. And Hugo now at the near post. Couldn't get a clean shot off. But we still can't find a goal. All right, well, we got to change up the formation now. This is just not working. We're going four at the back. Hopefully buy a little space on the wings. It's Holland who makes way for a sub here. Maybe some fresh legs will help. Mark Noble. Out wide, Garmston. 
Well, those are the fresh legs I was talking about, using his sprint speed to get in behind and put a ball in for Hugh Hill. Outstanding volley off the post, though, and really unlucky to not score there. Garmston immediately making a difference here. But is there enough time for our team to make a difference? Colin Hugo. Noble. Silva can't quite get a final ball in. Zande Silva puts a cross in looking for Hugo, punched away by the goalkeeper. Garmston finds Hoxabanovic in behind this time. Cutting inside. That's wonderful stuff from the winger. Easy cross in for Alexander who finishes 81st minute and there is still time for us to turn this one around. Lance Alexander grabs yet another goal. Well done from the youngster. Number 16. Headed right back in our direction. Whitaker closing down. A ball into the box. <sighs> Barely dealt with now. It's calling away. Maybe one more counter attack here. Ball over the top and Afa Lion running onto it. Checking his run a little bit. Still manages to find it though. It's a three on two here in the box. Can he pick out the right pass? Afa Lion putting that one up. No one on it. Cullen on the follow up. Alexander settles in the box and it's a really, really weak shot at the end of the move. And unfortunately, I think that's going to be time. Oh, it is unable to complete the comeback. 2-1 and we suffer a defeat just when we needed a win the most. And that's really just not good enough from our team. We saw flashes of what we could do, but we need to be offering way more offensively with the kind of talent that we have out there. Well, that keeps us down in ninth place. Leighton Orient have actually hopped ahead of us in the table, still hanging on to their eighth place position. Um, so it'll be more league games coming up next. Uh, to take a quick look at our squad as it stands right now, um, let's sort by appearances. Hugill's made the most. He's also scored the most goals, most assists. He has by far been our best player so far this season. Uh, really kicking it into gear when we need him the most. Um, right behind him, Whitaker, absolutely crucial to our defense. Uh, having his experience back there is just so, so valuable uh, with the young players that we have coming through the ranks, especially the center backs that we have. Uh, Holland has had a great breakout season. Still not getting the kind of numbers that I'd like to see, but he's so influential on the pitch. You can see it uh, in the gameplay. He gets a lot of assists to the assists, so um, definitely an important player for us. And Lance Alexander doing great again. Uh, Hugo has the edge on him, but still a very, very valuable player to our team. The two forwards. Um, all right, well, that does bring us to the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, please subscribe if you've been enjoying this content so far. Uh, it would help the channel out a lot. And I'll be back very soon with the next episode. But until then, I'm Respect the Jeff, and I'll see you next time.